Sami Jemfi has the fixation of constantly putting out lies and falsehood and wants everybody to... Let me tell you, there is nowhere that in this country the NDC completed 50 e-blocks. It's a lie. It's a falsehood. It's a consistent lie he's put out there. When you go to parliament... Alfred, don't interrupt me, please. When you go to not, parliament... I have not spoken. When you go to parliament, the official documentation is there. And when you get to parliament, you realize that the NDC completed only 29 of the e-blocks they started. Get Fund started 101 of the, those e-blocks. And then World Bank contributed to the rest. You'd realize that it's a total of 125 e-blocks that the NDC started. As of the time they were leaving office, they had only managed to complete 29. 29 of those blocks. So if he says they borrowed the money, where is the money? We have had to come. To come and complete those 30, uh, those, uh, we've completed almost 30 blocks in addition to their 29. <laughs> now, the point is this you sit here, you speak of debts, and yet you refuse to tell the people that the, the e blocks that you built in the bushes, hundreds of kilometers away from the co communities, without dormitory blocks, you left them there, and this government has come to, to complete them. I have just given you a list of secondary schools that have been built by this government from scratch to correct that falsehood and consistent palpable lie. For some strange reason, he's been saying this lie for five years. And for some reason, my party and my government has also refused to call him out. It is a lie. It is false. All the communities I have mentioned to you, when you go to those communities, you see the school. Alfred, let me even tell you something. It is senseless. It is completely senseless to come to a district like mine where I have 13 secondary schools. 13 secondary schools and say that your solution to providing space for children to go to school is to go and build another class school building kilometers away from, from the community. Go to Okwapman School. The level of infrastructure in Okwapman School alone, classroom blocks, dormitory blocks, dining halls, is about 20 of e blocks put together. If you want, tomorrow, send your cameraman to Okwapman School. So if I have space in a secondary school like Okwapman School, there is so much land, even today. And I, my vision is to provide the access for children to go to school. You think the most sensible thing is for me to go and build an e-block in Mangwase without a dormitory block? How would the children in the Kopong be able to go to Mangwase? And that is what this government is seeking to avoid. And that is why a lot of their e-blocks are still stuck in the bush, completed, and yet children are not attending. Let me also address this very, very important. And I'm, I don't know whether your your producers would scroll the, the freshly built secondary schools that I showed to them. Alfred, uh, let me uh, also I, I, indicate. I think that, uh, yes. Um, Maybe I later, if you can do it now, you can do it later. It is going to be, it's, it's been acknowledged. Yes, They've acknowledged received, that they have it. He has received awesome. Awesome. those awesome. pictures. Just awesome, good. Now, 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 you see, let me, let me also, you, why, why is he? No. Mr. Let me Mr. also make this point and make it rightly so. All the loans we have contracted since 2017 are here. And these documents are in Parliament. And when you go to the Ministry of Finance website, it's there. Go and pick each of them and see whether these loans that we contracted have been used for the purpose for which we build or not. The Ghana Secondary Cities Project, $150 million, 35 municipalities. I have given you an example of who. Go to Sunyali. Go to Sunyali. Go to Sanarugu, go to Kofoidia, go to Oda. These are projects out of this particular loan that was contracted by the government of Ghana. And these are into production. When you take a loan and build road, what is it? When you take a loan and build road, what is it? When you take a loan and build Tama and Pakadai railways, what is it? When you take a loan and you build Pokwase Interchange, what is it? When you take a loan <laughs> and build, build Obiche Bilante Interchange, what is it? So these are real investments that the government has made. Okay. And contract them, please, I'm not done. Right, thank you very much. I'm um, not done. Uh, these are loans. These are, these are loans. The time, these are loans that, that, that the government has taken. Each, as we run this, no, but he, can, he spoke first. Right. No, I, I will have clear. to speak last. He spoke first. In, in, in a he spoke first. I have to speak last. The viewers who have followed this will be very, very honest about the time and allocated to both of you. Yes, finally. Number one. I think the, the verdict around this table mm -hmm. is very clear by majority of the, 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 the panelists here that this government has been very, very reckless in its borrowings and that is what has plunged the country into the economic mess we have on our hands. And so for holders of government securities, 
who are going to take a haircut, meaning they are going to lose their money, they should know those responsible for their predicament. It is none other than the cousin of President Kufuado, Ken Uforiata, who profited from borrowings that he himself led through his company, the Data Bank, as a transaction advisor, Charles Adubwahe, and especially the Bawumia led economic management team. Because these were the same people, Alfred, who told us in 2016 that a public debt of 120 billion was too much, that Mahama was borrowing too much, and that Yetisikasos were come dear. The money is here. We don't have to borrow. They will borrow responsibly. They will reduce the rate of debt accumulation. So if our public debt has ballooned from 120 billion to over 400 billion, if debt servicing has ballooned from about 10 billion to now 50 billion, a 500% increase. If debt to GDP has moved from 56% as of December 2016 to nine, now over 90%, and our economy has moved from B minus to now below junk status, it is the handiwork of Ken Oforiata, Dr. Bawumia, and Nana Adodanko Kufuado, and they must be held responsible. As for the lies, Denis continue to peddle. We don't have to give him any attention. You know why? Because the people watching us are descending and can read <laughs> in between the lines. You have sat on this platform and lied. That when the NDC took office in 2209, we had money sitting in an account for the Eurojet Hospital projects. I have proven you wrong. Because you have no humility and integrity in you. You have not even been able to apologize for that. You have no shame. The last. school projects you are sent to your producer, and I'm very happy you didn't show it. Go to Abumusu and find out when the sword was cut for that project. Can you imagine? The sword was cut by His Excellency John Can you imagine? All the schools you have you imagine? Are all projects Alfred, that have their roots in the next because NDC Mahama government. government. My brother, can let me, let me put it on record. Speak? Why are you so jittery any time I'm speaking? Why are you always but, behaving but, like a witch uh, uh, in a Holy Ghost field church? Have, when I'm speaking, have, can't you, you become have, an have, have, have 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 Let, let me make my. You gave me right. five minutes. Yes. Let me have because my five minutes. Right. It's it's a minute left now, for you. Now now he speaks. Okay. You see, the last shameless so, people. So, they speak so, about so, we are so, borrowed for Pokwasi interchange. We are borrowed for Obechi Elamte interchange. This clearly means that this man sitting here has no respect for truth. Because anybody watching me, just Google it. Because of time, I can't do that. Google it. Parliament approves loan for Bechebilante interchange, Pokwasi interchange. All that was done in 2016 under the leadership of His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. So, my brother, you have very little to show for the unprecedented resources you have had. For the records, the whole market project was built and almost completed under the Mahama government. All right. Abetifi was built under us. You should have completed it by now. Today, it is at the mercy of the weather because you abandoned it for years. You should at least have some respect for the people of this country. Sam the Jemfi, people of Labadi, the people of Shama, who you have deceived. You promised them hospital. National Communications you Officer of the and NDC. To provide this. And, uh, let me this. Say this. Dennis Miracles, and you were supposed to... You, you were supposed to... I just wanted to put this on record. You were supposed to come in... We have to up. Is a I was sup economy. supposed to start with you, but you were supposed you, you told me you were supposed to start with you. You, you, you want to wrap Alfred, up? What? So you told me you were supposed to start. Apologize for the lie. Dennis Miracles Abwaji is a director of local and uh, government decentralization and rural development at the presidency 